guys? Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV, and me and my partner Chris are getting ready for a Lake Eufaula tournament. It's a TBF state tournament, uh, which TBF is pretty much a high school for FLW. Um, so it's a state tournament. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try to um, get in the top. Or what is our goal? Top five. Let's say top five. So we're pretty much just prepping. We're getting everything out of the boat that's irrelevant to Lake Eufaula. You follow. Um, I don't know if you guys have fished it, but it's a lot of lily pads and grass and stuff like that. So we're used to Lanier in the open water, so we're taking most of the stuff out, and we're throwing in some frogs and all kinds of other stuff. And I'm having to get all, all the big poles out, the big meat stick poles. Um, got my Revo rocket. That's a nine nine gear ratio reel. So yeah, guys, getting everything ready. Took off all my fluorocarbon, and I'm putting on some braid. And this is the Stealth Braid by Spiderwire. This is 30 pound. Um, and the reel I have it on is a Revo Rocket. That's the 9 gear ratio reel. And it's on my Legend Tournament. This is a heavy power, fast action. This is 710. So I mean, it's a big rod. It's meant for a swim bait, but it's, it's such a stiff rod that it's going to be used for flipping too. Super big. Last and final pull, I think. Or right, we have one more. This one right there. The G Extreme uh, Garcia. Here's all the rods right here. Got the um, rod gloves on. Tied everything on. We pretty much stripped most of the line off of everything and put on braid. Um, like right here. Have all these Revo rockets. Got braid. That's my punching one. Um, here's a swim jig. Foreman Hornet Lures, Spinner Bait, Chowder Bait, that's a new Z-Man one, I think it's looking pretty sharp. Just got the Zimfram Tackle Warehouse, um, that's a Z-Man Pop Shad, that's a really sick bait, a little top water bait, soft plastic, put braid on that, put braid on this one, that's the frog rod, big meat stick, and a little swim bait. So yeah, I mean we're going down. Today's, today's Wednesday. We're leaving after school tomorrow, Thursday. We're going to skip school Friday. So we're going to go on, go there after school. And we're pretty much going to practice Friday. We're just going to pretty much figure out what the fish are doing. Because we don't know 100% if they're going to bite that swim bait right there. So my dad will throw one of those baits. Chris will throw one of those baits. I'll throw one of those baits. We'll figure out what's the most productive. Layer it down to a couple. So on tournament day, we're not fumbling. We already have the baits that we need. Now I'm gonna throw them in the rod locker. Load them all up, they're all organized. And some rod gloves, I would highly, highly, highly recommend it. Keeps it so much more organized. It keeps you from knocking out your eyelids, which is a big deal. So I can tell you we have a lot of pulls where we have knocked out some eyelids and then we start using these and it's, it's really happening. This is about as organized as the rod locker's ever been. Only got a couple pulls in there. I'm sure we'll throw a couple more. Thankful. Alright, now we have all the boxes that we got everything out of right here. It's just a big mess right now. Um, got some rods, got some reels that we're not using, so we'll put those away. Most likely there's reels right there. We'll get a little box and we'll throw them in and we'll take them with us. And we'll also get some line so we can re-spool them. Say we need another um, braided reel so we'll be prepared and everything. Just always come prepared, guys. Make sure you're ready for the tournament so you don't have to go do some pit stops while you're down there. What we decided to do is just grab the line and some of the reels. And we're just going to throw them in the back of the rod locker right here. Just to keep it with the rods and reels. Keep it out of the way. I'm gonna be in the way with all the baits. Throwing chatter baits, lipless crank baits in the back compartment. We're just really packed right here. We have a lot of stuff that we're wanting to bring. The other compartment, Chris put all of his stuff. If you watched my tournament preparation video, um, I showed how we put my partner's stuff is in the other side. I mean, we're packed, as you can see. 
the boat's going to be weighted down a little bit, but I mean, it's what we're going to have to do once we figure out what they're biting um, Friday. Then we can take some stuff out and line up the boat. As you guys can see, got everything put up. Graphs are on, covers are on. Um, we're gonna load the boat home. So once me and Chris get out of school, we'll come home, throw his rods in, because he still has to re-spool a couple. I actually just notified him about this tournament. Um, my buddy Weston was gonna fish it, but he ended up getting sick. There's always something with him, you know, breaking his leg and everything. But, um, so, once we come home from school, we're gonna throw the cover on, and then we're gonna leave from there. What time do you think we'll, we'll get there? About seven o'clock. Seven o'clock? Seven o'clock, so it's gonna be hot down there, Saturday. It's gonna be like 90, what'd you say, 95? 94, yeah. 94 degrees, that's crazy, because I mean, I swear we were just fishing in 30 degree weather, line of freaking ice coming off your line. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much what we did to prep. I We are gonna be vlogging. I'm gonna vlog Friday, and then Saturday, so it's probably gonna be two separate vlogs. Um, I may put them all together, I'm not sure yet, just depending on how much footage I get. And I'll also get some tournament footage and try to make a video for you guys. So a lot to come from Ufala. I believe it's the 24th that we have a tournament on Ufala for bass. This one's for FLW. Um, and so we're gonna be fishing that one too. So a lot to come from Ufala. So we're pretty much prepping for that tournament with this tournament. So it's gonna be some fun. So. I'll catch you guys down there. Um, stay tuned for the vlogs. I'm sure they're going to be coming out Sunday. The tournament is this Saturday, so and I'll keep you guys updated. If you if you haven't followed me on social media, um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, definitely go check my pages out, and that's where I post updates every single day. So you guys can stay tuned to the channel. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.